Hello beach friends. We are going to explore a brand new beach, one we have not been to before. So that's going to be really fun. And we're going to show you how we uh, found all these little souvenirs laying all over the beach. Welcome to another SWF Beach Life video. If you like shelling and the beach and things beach related, I recommend you do subscribe because I drop a new video every single week. So we are at Tiger Tail Beach. This is in Marco Island. We just like to take a little trip down there. I had heard that the shelling was pretty good here, so I definitely wanted to come check it out. You can see there's parking, which is $8 per car. They have this fun little cafe there, which is kind of cool. I was hoping that afterwards we could uh, maybe go get a beer, but we'll just see what happens at the end of the video. So they do have this cute little outpost. You can get some snacks and drinks and whatnot, but uh, it was early in the morning and we were really just wanting to get down to the beach. So Tiger Tail was very different because there's kind of a lagoon area. So it's a lagoon also, it's on the Gulf. So if you look here, this is where we were, that's the beach. And then see the lagoon there in front of it. And if you wanted to get to the beach, you gotta walk all the way around and that's gonna be your access. So it's a pretty long walk. Now I did see some people traverse the lagoon here. They did manage to get right through. That's going to depend really on the tides and how deep the water is when you're there, but just something to keep in mind. You're going to be doing quite a bit of walking. We went all the way up to the tip up there, so just sit back and I'll tell you all about it. I love the fact that they're promoting no live shelling. So here's the lagoon area. Um, again, it's not the gulf. Look what we found though. It, we're not even on the beach and I mean, there's sand there and there's shells and whatnot. So that was a pretty spectacular shark eye. We'll take a look at that a little bit later as well. So at this lagoon area, they had a whole bunch of fun things to, to rent. They had like these bicycles, for lack of a better term, with these giant wheels on them. They also had some kayaks, some stand-up paddle boards. So you could come here and definitely, um, you know, find something to do for a couple hours. That was kind of fun. So here we are, we're traversing to the beach. I told you it was a long walk and you'll see some of those little crabs just kind of running for cover. And so we walked and walked and walked. We finally got to the beach and there were, you know, stuff on the beach. That was kind of cool. And again, it's been a little slow. Um, here we have a little piece of a shark eye and you never really know what you're gonna get. It all depends. Um, here is a turtle nest. It looks like these guys do not have coyotes because I do not see that wire on top of the nest. And here we have a little sand dollar. Somebody gifted that to us, which was nice. Here's an osprey. And here's a round rib scallop. It's broken, but it's flat and I don't find them often. So I'm gonna pick that up because that's kind of neat. Here we have another scallop. And there's that shark eye that we found earlier all cleaned up. That's awesome. Yeah, really happy with that guy. So as I was saying, you never really know what you're going to find. Sometimes you can just find shells by the boatload, but it all depends on the tides and the winds and if there's been storms. So we had to do quite a bit of hunting to find something like this. Here's a little Florida horse conch, little baby guy. Here we have a scallop and another. Kind of pretty. Looks like he could use some acid if you ask me. And we have a little calico clam. Oh, that's pretty too. I believe that is a rough scallop. That looks, looks pretty. And here we have a pretty big jingle. That is a common jingle and an auger. So there were some goodies if you were willing to kind of poke around. Here's a Florida fighting conch with a shell stuck in there. He's got some stuff on him. I'm not going to keep him. We'll save him for somebody else. Take a look at the scallop. He's kind of cool. I want another. Okay, that's a calico scallop, but he's got a little bit too much extra stuff for my taste. And, oh, that's kind of neat, purple and gray. Oh, we'll leave that for someone else. Here's another Florida fighting conch. We'll rinse him off. All right, he's a little bit, oh, all right. He's got something going on the inside. So we're not gonna keep him. We'll just keep, keep looking. Look at this, this is a black kitten's paw. Unless I'm mistaken, 
that is a kitten's paw that has absorbed all that black color from the sand. It's kind of neat. There's another scallop. And looks like, yay, yay, a Florida cone. Not in perfect condition, but it's been a little slow today, so I'm going to be real happy with that. And some more jingles. Okay, here we have a Sunray Venus. I honestly never really connected why they called these Sunray Venus, but now looking at this guy, I get it. Okay, this guy's kind of cool. I believe that this is a young Southern Quahog. Someone helped me out on a shelf from a previous video and that's what I'm thinking that guy is. That's a scallop. I love learning about all these different, there's so many shells, so many. All right, that is just a piece of a true tulip. That would have been awesome, but it's just a piece. One day, one day I'll find something that big. All right, I had to get a little grabby and I thought I was going for a lightning whelk, but it was only just a piece. We have another scallop. And another. Kind of fun color. Okay, this guy was kind of not sure, but after looking at the back, definitely turkey wing. And a little auger. And some more jingles. It was really, really windy. The weather was a little nutty on this day, so we were uh, had to hold on to the little shells that'd go flying. All right, and here we have a crown conch or a piece of a crown conch that has seen better days. And a juvenile Florida fighting conch. And another. We'll leave that for someone else. All right, got another scallop. No idea what this is. No clue. I tried to figure it out and I couldn't. If anyone knows, if you wouldn't mind, leave me a comment. That'd be great. But I thought that was kind of pretty. We have another, another scallop. All right, let's clean this up. I like those base scallops. Yeah, it's got some stuff, but probably nothing a little acid couldn't take care of, right? And another scallop. Again, thinking that's a rough scallop. And there's my orange. Ah, I like that orange. And it's absorbed a little bit of that black, so that's kind of cool. Well, the sun came out and I found this lovely scallop. Okay, another Sunray Venus. Now check this out. This guy's kind of like a brown color for all intent and purposes. This next one, look how purple it is. Weird. I wonder if that's because of the food that they eat. No idea. But it's kind of neat. Okay, here we have an alphabet cone, which would be a really great find. I mean, it is a great find. Shell is definitely not, uh, it's not perfect, but that's okay. Oh, Florida, another uh, horse conch. Florida horse conch. Got lots of stuff, but I'm keeping him. It's kind of neat. Oh, little lightning whelk. A wee little guy. And another scallop. And another. All right, what do we got here? Yay, something different. Okay, this is a top snail. It's a little guy. I don't even know how I found that, but that's a little top snail. And here we have another scallop, pretty orange color. And another scallop. Oh, while we're here, let's just pick up this third one. And why not a fourth, right? We're here. All right, let's see what that looks like cleaned up. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like the colors. These different fabulous scallops. All right, what do we got here? All right, another Florida fighting conch. And then we've got ourselves another ribbed scallop, a round ribbed scallop, the flat guys, not a zigzag. Oh, 
a nutmeg. I love how twisty they are on the inside. That's fun. And another top snail. Looks like I found an olive. I did. It's a little guy. And this is a bummer. That's a pear whelk. The color on it is fabulous, but the shell has clearly seen better days. So I'm not going to keep that. Just kind of appreciate the pretty color and put them back. All right, what do we got here? Okay, nice. That's another calico scallop. And another. Oh, and a crab. You're just kind of scuttling along. Most of an apple murex. That's too bad, but. And from that angle, it looks good, right? Another one, another black kitten's paw, unless I'm misidentifying that cookie. So it was a really stormy day, it kind of rain a little off and on, but it's summer. It wasn't cold or anything. It was just kind of <laughs> making sure we're not going to get hit by lightning. That's always a bonus. And here we have a five hole keyhole sand dollar. Those are the ones that we find down here. There's another one called a notched sand dollar, which I've never seen down here. Only these five hole keyhole guys. Here's a calico clam. And another sand dollar. Um, when I first heard of Marco Islands, my understanding was that was where you went if you wanted to get sand dollars. And as we're, you know, finishing our day, I definitely found that to be true. Now, this guy was neat because the, of the way it was broken. On the back there, you see there's five bird-shaped elements collectively known as Aristotle's lantern. So I thought that was kind of interesting that this guy was just broken in a way where you can kind of see inside and really kind of get a look at that. Here we have a little rough scallop. And another calico scallop, I believe that guy is. And another sand dollar. He's in great shape. I'll have to probably bleach him and seal him. And here we have an olive. Okay, so as we're wrapping up Tiger Tail, I guess what I have to say is if you're gonna come here, bring a buggy or something and prepare to walk far. Unless you're okay with that lagoon area, in which case you're not gonna have to walk far at all and you're gonna be able to get snacks and a beer. But if you're looking for shelling and you wanna kinda of do some beach combing, you're gonna have to walk. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna be visiting this fine place known as Tiger Tail Beach. So as we wrap this up, here's all the goodies. I didn't show you the way I found all those scallops. There were just so many of them, but I did find that huge shark eye was awesome. And that Sunray Venus, we got ourselves a couple of sand dollars, some of those flat scallops, a bunch of calico scallops, some augers, the Florida horse conch, the top snails, that most of the apple murex. So you know what? It's, we did a lot of walking and I don't care. It was a lot of fun. It was, it's always fun to go see something different, right? So thanks as always, guys. I so appreciate you guys watching your comments, everything. I'm so happy to bring these videos to you, and I'll see you again next week.